Hey guys. Every new year I seem to have the same resolution, which is to sketch more. So this year I decided to make myself a large book that I can make an entry in every day of the year. This book has over 365 pages in it, and I'm hoping it'll motivate me to draw something every day. This is a New Year's resolution based project, but we are getting toward the end of January now, and I still wanted to make this tutorial for you guys. If you want to treat this book like it's a book for just this year, you can catch up and fill in the rest of the pages of this month and then start from there. Or you can do like I'm going to do, which is make this book into just a daily entry for this many days, regardless of the year. The binding used in this book is a long stitch binding, but if you go to my channel and check out the DIY book binding methods and stitches playlist, you can use a different style of binding if you prefer. And you can also find that link in the description below. To get started on this project, here's a list of the supplies. To start, I'm using a pad of 9 by 12 inch paper for the pages and cover board, but you can of course use any type of paper you would like for your book. First, I'm going to remove the board from the pad. And remove 92 sheets, which will equal 368 pages counting front and back of the page. I wasn't expecting the glue from the pad to be left over on the paper, and I'll show you how to take care of that later if you run into the same problem. Now fold each paper in half and run a bone folder along the edge to flatten it. This step can take a while, so maybe pop in your favorite movie and fold away. Now stack them all into groups of four to make a total of 23 signatures. If you run into the same problem with the glue on the paper, just stack the signature so it's aligned and trim about an eighth of an inch off the end. Repeat that to each signature so they are about the same width. Then mark the binding holes. I marked two half inch points from the left, then three inches from that, and repeat it on the right side. Then place that signature on top of the stacked pile as a template and use a straight edge to mark the rest of the folded edges. Now use an awl to pierce the marks on each signature. And stack them in the same order you marked them. Now take all the signatures, loosely hold the stack on top of the board to estimate the width of the spine board. Keep an eighth of an inch space on both sides of the stack. Now mark that width and trim out the piece. I decided to make this piece for the spine for support since this is such a large number of pages. Cut the remaining board in half to make the front and back covers. If you need help finding more board, check out this video right here. For the cover, I'm recycling this paper from an old calendar, but of course you can use any paper you like. I usually use Craftbond Extra Strength glue stick on paper and board, but any of these glues will work as well. Now I'm going to glue all the board pieces onto the paper. And smooth out any air bubbles with the bone folder. Then trim out the board, leaving a border of the paper. And cut the corners like this, leaving a little gap on the tip. Glue the flaps over and press that little bit over the tip of the corner as you go. So now all my board pieces are covered and I'm going to glue them to this final material. You can also use other fabric for this if you'd like. On the fabric side of the vinyl, glue the spine piece. and smooth out any air bubbles. Mark the material at the same height as the board. And trim the excess off. 
Now I'm going to estimate where to glue the front and back cover using the stack of pages. To do this, place it where it will sit in the book and mark where the ends of the last signature lays. This is where the cover will line up to. Mark and trim the excess off and use the same measurement on the other side of the spine and do the same. Then glue the covers to the ends. Unfortunately, I later found out that PVA doesn't work on the smooth side of vinyl, so try one of these glues instead. If you know of another glue alternative for vinyl, please share it in the comments below. Glue the front and back covers, then place some weights on it so it dries flat, and I usually like to let it dry overnight. Now let's mark the binding holes on the spine. I first find the center and measure out eighth of an inch points on either side for all 23 signatures. This will help as a guide. Do this on the other side as well and use the signature as a template along those guides. Make a mark next to each hole on the signature and do this along each guide. Now pierce each mark with an awl. Yes, every mark. I know this may take a while. After all the holes are made, we can now bind. I'm using different colors of thread that I waxed. For more about the thread you can use and how to wax it, check out this video here. Single thread a large sewing needle and start stitching on the signatures. If you're unfamiliar with long stitch binding, please watch this tutorial I made here. This video focuses on just the binding method itself so that you can easily learn how to long stitch and apply it to your book projects. After you're done binding, the book is finished. Yay, you made it to the end. Even though this book takes a while to make, it's well worth it because then when the year is over, you can go back and see all the sketches or entries that you made. Please feel free to share whatever you fill your pages with on my Facebook page, Twitter, or hashtag CLemon on Instagram. And I'm probably going to put my sketches up there as well. For more tutorials, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel. For another tutorial using long stitch binding, check out this recipe journal to the left. To add a pocket to the inside of your book, check out the video on the right. You can find these links and more listed in the description below.